Hey, this is Dan Lehman from AutomationHelpers.com. Now, a request that we've had from clients a couple times is, how can I take an email and send to a certain email address and have that create a record inside a smart suite? Now, this isn't something that is a native feature of smart suite at this point, but it's something that we can actually set up in a few minutes, or it might be a little bit more depending on complexity, but we can get started right away. So I'm inside of Make, and Make used to be called Integromat, but it's a platform that we can use to build integrations, and our team does this all the time. QuickBooks and email, document generation, all sorts of different ways that we might want to utilize Make. If you haven't set up an account, you can do so with our affiliate link down in the description below. But inside of Make, we've got a connector to SmartSuite, so we don't have to build all of the API nuance. You don't have to be a developer to use Make. I'm just going to show you how we might use this to create the situation where we can send an email and have it create that record inside of SmartSuite. So the first thing that I need to do is I need to pick from my different available modules. And one of them, you're going to see a little plus button here, and you can choose and search for mail hook or web hook. And what this is doing is this gives you a little custom email address that you can utilize in the process of doing this automation. So we can send to this email address and it's going to take that information and then we process it. We do something from there. So I've created one. I call it Smart Suite Mail Hook. And this gives me this unique email address. And this is something that you'll have your own email address to be able to utilize for that as opposed to the one that I have here. So we can copy this and save that for later. But at this point, all this is doing is we send an email and then it picks up on that data. Now we need to actually do something with that data. So right here, I'm using a different module and this is from SmartSuite. This is SmartSuite's create a record. So we can click onto this and there's a couple things we wanna do. You'll need to get set up with your connection and that's stuff we've got covered in a different video that we did on Make. But from here, I'm telling it which solution I have, which application, this is going to create a task. Our use case is that we wanna be able to create tasks from this. You might do something else like you want to create orders or create a customer record. But in this case, we're focused on tasks. So if I take a look inside of SmartSuite, I've got a really simple tasks table here. I wanna be able to assign a title, um, who is actually the assignee of the record, and then we wanna have a due date and a description. Now, some of this, as you can imagine, maps really well to email. So things like title would make sense that we have in the subject. And description could come from the body of the email itself. But how do you handle something like due date? Because it's not necessarily the date in which you sent the email. So how can we grab that information from the record? Well, I'm going to give you an idea of how to do it. But ultimately, you know, you'll probably have your own ways that you want to customize or configure this. Um, and that's something that we can help with too. But we're just doing a really simple example. So if we hop into Make and I open this up, I want to show you a couple of things that I have done here. One is the idea that I am actually going to pull from the subject line and that subject, I'm going to actually give it two pieces of information. So I'm going to give it both the title of the task here, and then I'm going to put in a comma and a space, and then I'm going to put in the due date for that particular task. Now we could do something and put it in the body of the email, and we have different ways to parse the text that we have in email. But I'm just going to do this in the subject. So every time someone sends an email here, they need to include the name followed by a comma and then the due date that they want. So from here, if I head back into make, what we're doing is we're taking that subject line. Then there's a function called split. And what split allows us to do is it, we can take a string or essentially a group of text and we can chop it up into individual items. So what we're doing is we're creating an array or a list of items where it's separated by a comma and a space. So suddenly this long string here becomes two pieces. It becomes reach out regarding proposal and it becomes the date. So this is now an array that was separated by that comma and space. And that array has two items, the subject and the date. And then from here, we're saying, grab the first item of that array for the title of this task. Now from here, we're just injecting the description. So that's just coming from our task uh, or, or from our text itself here. And then we're doing the assigned to. The assigned to in this case uh, has a name and I'm pulling from that name. So because Dan Lehman is a user inside a smart suite, we can actually have it handle the assigned to that way. Now, if you have a mismatch on Maybe you're Daniel Lehman in your email, but you're Dan Lehman in the system. 
then you got to come up with some kind of workarounds. But this works for me. We've got a default status here for the backlog. And then our due date, we're doing essentially kind of the opposite of up here. We're still parsing that into um, an array that we did. And we're taking the last item. So before we took the first item of the array, which is the subject, now we want to take that last item uh, and have that be our date. And then from here, we need to tell it to parse a date because ultimately that information comes back to us as a string, the text. And we want to take that and turn it into the date format that we need in SmartSuite. So we're using the parse date function to be able to do that. And that's pretty much all we need. Now, of course, you could take other files. You could even do things like uh, attachments in the email. So there's lots of ways we could extend this. But we are going to say OK and go ahead and save this. And at this point, our scenario should be active. It's ready to go here. So let's test it out. And we're going to send our email. And then we have the ability to see the run jobs of this. So we can see that this ran and it was a success. And if we check back inside a smart suite, look how cool this is. We open up this task and we can see the title, Reach Out Regarding Proposal. It's got a description. It did include my email signature as part of this. We could parse that out if we wanted to, but we've got our description going on. It assigned it correctly to me, and we have our due date based on parsing that from the subject as well. So I hope this is helpful for you. If you've been one of those people who's like, I really wish I could take email and create a task or something else inside a smart suite, here's how you can do it and get started. If you have questions about setting up Make for integrations or getting started with smart suite, feel free to reach out on our website at automationhelpers.com where we're offering free 30-minute consultations.